Okay, let's talk about continuous compound interest. And the problem that we're going to be doing in this video is uh, we're going to start off with the principal amount of $500, and it's going to be compounded uh, continuously. Now, that's very important. We'll talk about uh, that uh, more in a second. But uh, it's going to be compounded continuously for six at 6.75%. And the question is, how long... Uh, to double. How many years is it going to take, or how many months or days, whatever the case might be, to double? In other words, double our investment. So how long is it going to take $500 uh, to double uh, if it's being compounded continuously at 6.75%? So uh, that is the topic for this video. And I just did a uh, video recently on compound interest. Now that's a more of a simpler form of compound interest. This one's a little bit more advanced and we're going to be using um, some logarithms to help us out. So um, when you study compound interest or simple interest, you know, generally you start studying this at the pre-algebra or algebra level. Um, but when you get into the more advanced math like algebra two, uh, we can uh, use another equation uh, and we're gonna need that, another formula actually, for continuous compound interest in this particular problem is gonna require our uh, knowledge of logarithms, which are awesome. That's that little LOG button on your calculator, and the other one is LN uh, button. So you need to know a little bit about logarithms, um, especially natural logarithms, but I'll talk more about that in just one second. But uh, first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher, and over several years, I've constructed what I like to believe is one of the best online math help programs there is. Of course, I'll let you be the judge of that. Uh, you can check out my math help program by following uh, the link in the description of this video. But uh, basically, I have 100 plus different math courses ranging from pre-algebra, algebra one, geometry, algebra two. I'm going to be launching pre-calculus here shortly. Uh, but I also have uh, many, many courses in the area of test preparation. So if you're studying for the GED, high set task, SAT, ACT, uh, maybe the GRE, GMAT, um, maybe the CLEP exam, ACUPLACE or ALEX or teacher certification exam like uh, the Praxis or nursing school entrance exam like the TAS, all those exams, um, uh, of course, they're all for uh, different type of reasons. Uh, some are for college placements, uh, teacher certification, um, trying to get credit for uh, college, but they all have a significant amount of mathematics on them. If you don't do well on the math section, on those particular exams, well, then you don't pass the exam. So let me help you out. Just go to my um, website, check out my full course catalog, and you can see uh, your exam there. If you do not have your exam, drop me a line, and I will help you out the best I can. I also do a lot with uh, independent learners like homeschool. So if you homeschool, I have a great homeschool learning program. And then obviously I help those of you that are just struggling in your current math courses. Now, one thing I cannot do for you that you must do for yourself if you're serious about uh, being great at math. Now, if you're not serious to being great at math, then just disregard this part. But basically, uh, over decades of teaching math, uh, those students who I've seen, okay, those students who take great notes, paying attention, doing all the right things, uh, not surprisingly, they do very, very well, okay? And the reverse is true. Those students who like to be on their cell phone, talk to their friends, and do homework for other uh, classes, guess what? They always end up with a little sad face at the end of the year with their math grades. And they're saying, what happened? What happened? Well, you got to be paying attention, right? This is not optional and uh, requires work and effort and consistency and discipline, okay? So if you're doing, uh, if you're really paying attention to your notes, then you should be uh, doing pretty well in your math classes. Now, um, as you're improving in your note-taking, which probably most of you need to uh, improve, I offer, de I offer detailed comprehensive math notes that you can study from uh, in the meantime to include pre-algebra, algebra 1, geometry, algebra 2, and trigonometry. You can find the links to those notes in the description of this video. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna, uh, we want to know how long it's going to take this $500 to double, okay, if it's being compounded continuously at 6.75%. So to double $500, right, is obviously $1,000. So we want to know, uh, really, how many or how long, okay, is it going to take this $500 to grow to $1,000 in our nice savings account uh, if we have a 6.75% uh, compounded 
uh, continuously rate, which would be awesome if these things exist, which uh, they do not exist in the real world, unfortunately, not at this uh, period of time. But uh, let's take a look at a simpler form of compound interest. So this is compound interest uh, equ uh, formula, and you might be familiar with this formula uh, because I just did a video on this. Matter of fact, I have a lot of, um, not a lot, but I know I've done other videos on uh, compound interest. Just check out my algebra uh, playlist. You should find most of those videos in there. But uh, this particular formula we're going to use for annual interest rate. So if something's being compounded, let's say it's 6% annually, you got to pay attention how frequently it's being um, uh, compounded. So if it's an annual interest rate, you use this. Now there's even another formula that if it's being um, compounded like uh, quarterly or daily, we can do some other things. So there's a few different formulas for compound interest. So this is one of those formulas. There's another one, but the one that we need here uh, for continuous compound interest is the following. Okay, so it's A, which is the amount, it's the same thing as uh, this formula, is equal to P, which is the principal, same thing, uh, E. Okay, this little E, hopefully you are familiar, that's the natural base, natural base E, and that's the number, it's like 2.718, da, 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 super important number in mathematics, uh, right along the um, kind of the uh, same level as pi, okay, in terms of its importance, but that's the natural uh, base E, and then that's going to be taken, that natural base E is going to be raised to the R times T power. And of course, R is our interest rate, but it's not annual, it's continuous, okay? And then T is um, uh, time in years, okay? So this is the formula. Now, uh, write this formula down, because I'm going to need it for this problem. And I'm going to show you this problem again, okay? So I'm going to show you this problem uh, before I show you the uh, solution. So write this formula down. And here is the problem, okay? So we want to see how long our $500 is going to double to 1,000 at a 6.75% uh, continuous compound interest rate. And of course, I already gave you a hint that you will need some logarithm uh, knowledge to solve this uh, problem. Okay, so if you don't want to see the solution, you want to work on this for a little bit longer, pause the video, but uh, let's get into it now. Okay, so here, Here's our lovely um, continuous compound interest formula. And uh, let's see what we uh, have and what we need. Okay, so we know the principal amount is $500. That's our starting amount. We know the rate uh, here is given to us at 6.75%. And we want to know how long. Okay, how long is this thing going to be uh, take to double? So T is our unknown variable. We're, we're looking for how many years, okay? It's going to take to double. So that's what T is. We don't know what that is. That's what we're going for. And our amount, our final amount will be $1,000 because that's how, that's the obviously um, um, the consequence of doubling $500. You get to, a, uh, or sorry, $500. Yes, uh, we double that and that's $1,000. Uh, so in a really in a roundabout way, the question is, um, you know, how long is it going to take $500 to grow to a thousand dollars right at this uh, continuous compound interest rate of 6.75 percent so here is the setup right here so we have a thousand that's our amount okay five hundred dollars is our principal e that's the uh, natural base e now here our rate okay you always have to write your interest rate in terms of a decimal so that's going to be point 0.675, we're writing 6.75% as a decimal. And then here our T, I'll just kind of circle it right there, is our unknown. So we need to solve for T. So you gotta be able to solve for T in a exponential equation. This is an exponential equation. And just a quick little math review, exponential equations, their inverses are logarithms. Okay, if you had a logarithmic equation, its inverse is an exponential equation. So uh, exponential functions and logarithms go hand in hand. They're inverses of one another. So we have an exponential uh, equation here. So we're going to need logarithms to solve this. Okay. All right. So let's get to it. Okay. So here is our equation. So what do we want to do? Okay. Well, when you're solving an, uh, an exponential equation, you want to isolate the base and the power. So for example, if I have 2x is equal to, let me make something up here. Let's say I had three times two to the X is equal to nine. Okay, let's say this was a basic 
exponential equation because the uh, variable is an exponent. What you want to do first is isolate the base and the power. So here I have a 3 times this, so I'm, I need to divide both sides of the equation by 3 to get 2x is equal to 3. Okay, so that's your first step. you got to do whatever steps necessary to isolate that base and power. So uh, in this case, the base is e. Okay, we need to get e by itself. So to get e by itself, I can divide both sides of this equation by 500. And then I'll just get e by itself. And that's what I'm doing here. But this is the reasoning why. Okay, so I'm dividing both sides of the equation by 500. And that's going to leave me with e to the 0 0.0675t is equal to 2. Don't be distressed that I'm writing this on the left-hand side and this on the right-hand side. You can do that in an equation. Remember, the left is equal to the right, which means the right is equal to the left. Uh, so, you know, you definitely do that because, you know, the variable, we like to uh, work with variables on the left-hand side. It's just kind of typical. All right, so this is uh, hopefully um, the first step that you knew uh, that you needed to take. All right. At this point now, we need to solve uh, for t, and we could do that by taking the ln of both sides. Okay, you're taking the log of both sides of the equation, but, but because this is uh, base e, we're not going to use log, we're going to use ln. Okay, uh, that's the natural logarithm. So we're going to take the ln of both sides, and ln, like for example, ln of 2, if you go into your uh, calculator, that's just a number. So we're going to go, uh, take the ln of e to the point 0675t. Now, uh, you need to know something about properties of logarithms. If I have log x to the n, okay, uh, if I take, well, let me do it this way. So we have x to the n. If I take the log of that, okay, well, there's a property of logarithms that says I can drop that exponent in front of the log. So it's going to be n times log x. These are equivalent to one another. This is a very important property of logarithms. So here, I'm going to drop this 0 0.0675t in front of that ln e. Okay, now I could do so because of this. So, um, you know, this video or this problem is taxing your knowledge of logarithms and how to solve exponential uh, equations using logarithms. Okay, so at this point, um, we need to know a little bit about this ln e. Okay, of course I can go to my calculator and you could pull up the exact value or an approximation of E, but you should just know because you're super smart and you've been taking great notes in class that ln E is equal to 1. Okay, so this right here is just equal to 1. So that leaves me with 0 0.0675t is equal to ln 2. And again, you could find a decimal of ln 2 in your calculator. But we're just uh, solving for t, okay? So to uh, get t by itself, of course, I'm going to divide both sides of the equation by 0 0.0675, okay? As you can see, that's what I did right here. Now you can go into your calculator. Go into your calculator at the very end. Don't do not do any calculations in, uh, until you kind of get to this point in the problem. Now go into your calculator, type in ln2 divided by 0 0.0675, and you'll get approximately 10 point, uh 10.27. And what is that? Well, that's what t is equal to. So that's about 10.27 years to double. Okay. So it's going to take 10.27 years roughly uh, to take that $500 and grow it to $1,000 if it's being compounded continuously, continuously at 6.75%. Okay. So this problem was uh, hopefully interesting. Hopefully it combined your two favorite topics, would be, which would be money and math. Well, you know, some of you are like, yeah, well, skip the math part. But anyways, you know, listen, I have to try to make these videos entertaining, fun, you know, anything it takes to get you to be interested in learning math because math is so important and uh, nobody should be struggling in math, okay? If you're doing your part, talking to your teacher, there's all kinds of tons of uh, free resources out there. I like to be one of them, okay? Uh, I've been on YouTube for a long time. Hopefully, you'll become a subscriber. But it's my passion, my mission to try to make math clear and understandable. So if this video was clear and understandable to a certain degree, please consider smashing that like button. That definitely helps me out. And again, uh, please take advantage of uh, all the videos that I've made and all the videos I will make. But uh, my best math help will always be within my math help program. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.